far. So we need a break from uh, just this rainy weather and the humidity as well. Out in the tropics, uh, things are still active out in the Atlantic, but the Gulf of Mexico is still very, very quiet. That's where the cold front has uh, kind of parked itself. It will wash itself out over the coming days. So the Gulf is quiet right now, expecting it to stay quiet probably for the next five to seven days or so. Now out in the Atlantic, there are quite a few areas we're watching. We now have Hurricane Sam. It is rapidly strengthened. We've got another tropical wave we're watching off the continent of Africa. It's giving a medium chance of development. That's the remnants of Odette still could try to redevelop. And then there's a new area we're watching for development out in the Atlantic. So all of these are not going to be an issue in the near term. Sam uh, doesn't look like it's going to be an issue for the Gulf of Mexico either, but an impressive storm. Nonetheless, it is rapidly strengthening. It was a tropical depression yesterday morning. Now we have a hurricane. It is really uh, strengthened very fast. West movement at 15 miles an hour, and it's a 75 mile per hour category one at this point. So watch this. We put the track on here for you. Rapidly intensifying continues into the weekend. We do have it becoming a category four at some point, and it's possible it could be a strong cat four if it gets its act together. It is really going to slow down in this zone, though, so it's going to have plenty of time to travel over these warm waters. And then by the time we get to middle of next week, this is five days out. Looks like it's just going to be northeast of the Lesser Antilles. We've been talking about the steering currents with this thing, and the stronger the storm, the more likely it is to travel out into the Atlantic around this high pressure, and it's looking more and more likely like that's going to happen. Now, there's always uncertainty in a forecast when you're beyond five days, but the trends have been for a continued motion just northeast of the islands. It will be too close for comfort for some of these islands, but then curving out towards maybe Bermuda as we go into the end of next week. So you're talking seven to 10 days out in this part of the forecast. So there's still uncertainty, but right now it's trending more and more like it would stay out in the Atlantic East Coast. I would still watch it just in case, but right now the trends are for that Atlantic uh, path. There's your seven day forecast. Beautiful weather all the way through early next week, and really most of next week does not look that rainy. It'll